So, quick episode today, DJ. Not much to talk about, so let's just go. Yeah, hey, everybody. This is Grand Blue Radio. Uh, this is episode 372. I'm calling this one Suffering from Success, which DJ already knows the story about. That Some funny. Of these... <laughs> so, I'm setting the stage and just letting everybody know this. So, when they announced Grand Blue Fantasy Orchestra, Symphony in Blue here, they hadn't done this since... 2017. Let me go find see if I can find where I put the uh, the booklet for that thing. But anyway, so it was held um, at a little tour around Japan. There's like a Fukuoka one. There was an Osaka stop. The only reason that we, as people outside of Japan, know about these is because that's where the orchestra characters come from. And, and the orchestra were... CD. Yeah. And like... They were in concert halls, and so the capacity was like 1,800 or something like that at each stop. Five stops. And so it's a pretty competitive thing, you know? It was like, it was pretty hard to get. So they announced this, and I'm like, I will walk through walls to do this because I don't know when this is going to happen again. They've talked about it happening, but they hadn't gotten the logistics together until... September 21st and 22nd at the Tokyo Garden Theater. Now, I've been to the Garden Theater recently, and did you go? I forget. I've not been Garden Theater. I've been to other places in Tokyo. Right. So the Garden Theater is a very vertical theater, and its capacity is around 8,000. But I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to make absolutely sure that I get tickets to this. Oh, and you so definitely I... did. <laughs> and so, like, uh, I asked friends to apply for tickets, too. And... When these tickets came out, uh, the the results of the lottery and the raffle, people won almost everything. So, um, we won at least well. So we won eighty of them, <laughs> and we've defaulted on a few more than a few of them. Mm -hmm. Um, the thing is the E plus system. Like I talked to Menchi, Menchi's like, I don't care. A default on him. I all of my stuff comes through a Sobe store anyway. Yeah, <laughs> and nowadays, Min, yeah. Min said the, a lot of the same things. Um, so we have forty tickets over um four performances. So an average yeah, is that, of is ten that tickets four, for four tickets for, for SS on Saturday. Uh, that is five tickets for SS on Saturday. Actually, well, I'm talking about that are not taken. Uh, two of these are take. Two of these are taken. Uh, if you wish to join us in SS, feel free. I'll take uh, an SS. I'll pay right, I'll I'll money over for that. Yeah, I'll write your name in then. So, uh, the, I want the, the box. Is, yeah. So the thing is that this is what I was thinking is that uh, Henry and I would go on this one, but but this is the thing is that you know, um, you were in the voice call with me, and every time someone else, um, let me know that they had won and how much they had won i was just laughing harder and harder each time like oh my god it is um based if we had paid for every single ticket that we had won and if we had honored every single ticket and as a note i did make sure with every single person that uh if we defaulted they would be okay with it because there are theoretically consequences for that um supposedly i've defaulted on one set of tickets before but yeah. that's only one right uh but anyway so it would have been in the neighborhood of seven hundred thousand yen which is about like five thousand dollars six four thousand dollars or so in that neighborhood actually less than that hold on seven hundred thousand it was eight hundred thousand yen so let me pull up the calculator real quick so 800,000 yen, divide that by 160. So it's about $5,000. We're not, we're not in that bad shape. And also I did this with explicit knowledge that I can afford it. That said, if you know anybody who <laughs> wants to go to the orchestra. As it could be so. in Japan. It's got to be in Japan because... Or, uh, or, you know, they could just make the plan for Japan based on the orchestra, you know. That's yes. always, always an option. Yeah. And, I mean, I love the music of GBF because it comes from the tree of one of my favorite composers of all time, right? So it's just like, it's it's Uematsu styled and filtered through 
a huge amount of 90s nostalgia. It's a big reason I got into this game in the first place. Um, I've been to the Final Fantasy Orchestra multiple times. I'm going to go again multiple times in the future. And if this happens again, I will look at the capacity of the venue before I decide how many <laughs> times I'm going to apply. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I'll see you there, DJ. <laughs> yeah, you only go there for one of these. I might be able to go uh, on morning of uh, these. I don't know. I need to figure out what they are, do what they're doing for uh, the event I'm going to because it's a day, a day, an afternoon and an evening showing. Right. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm. It's not to the point where I'm just going to ask strangers yet. I'm asking friends and friends of friends at this point because I think we have something like 16 to 20 of these spoken for out of 40. So it's not dire. Like, these tickets will be going somewhere. Uh, but, you know, I want to make sure we know who's coming first before we uh, go. Because, like, Joshua's coming. Um, our crewmate, John Chi, uh, out of Australia, he's going to be coming. So that'll be cool to meet him. Like, it'll just end up being like a, you know, GBF fest or something. Where it's like we hang out, we enjoy a show, and then we continue hanging out. You know? Yeah. Uh but once again, like it was it was chaotic in that call. I was giggling like a <laughs> So um the thing that I was gonna compare it to was you also remember this story, the story of Henry and I at the first Grand Blue Fantasy Fest. Okay, to be fair, that one's different on the count of you kept spitting the thing. And they didn't yeah. say no. Henry just kept looking at the attendant and going, do I stop? And he just kept spinning the, the the crank and turning the handle and just more gotcha would come out. But, you know, he just walks in to, uh, up to me and he's got freaking like 60 capsules. <laughs> and I'm just like looking into his bag going, Henry, how many did you get? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> It was it was a lot of that same energy except this one, you know. It's like, Dom, how many did you win? It's like all of them. We won all of them for all of the days, except uh, we didn't actually. Uh, so it looks like the Saturday afternoon and the um, yeah the Saturday afternoon tickets were the most contested, followed by the Saturday evening. It makes sense that Sunday is the was the easiest ticket to get because. Sunday night, people probably just dip out and go home before yeah, that. Yeah, people live in other regions than Tokyo, so. Yeah. And so, you know, the first three performances, it makes sense. But once again, it's just like, uh, so if anybody wants to go to the orchestra, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, <laughs> I won't pay funny. for your flight or anything, but we definitely have tickets to spare, and I will definitely give you a good deal on them, a.k.a. Just pay face value, man. I don't... <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah, that... Good job. You know what? Mission Mission succeeded. Mission suc... well, mission failed successfully? No, mission succeeded. No, you did not fail. You, fail. you succeeded. <laughs> mission <laughs> over the, succeeded. With the price. Yeah. So what the, comes with the, the box anyways? So here's the, what comes with the box. So first of all, there's the pamphlet. Um, and the previous pamphlet had things like uh, credits and... I have it around here somewhere. I was actually looking at it just recently because of, you know, our conversation. Um, this is what happens when I'm just disorganized again. Uh, anyway, so uh, there's the pamphlet. Uh, there is a shopping bag. So there's that. A clear file. It's like, yeah, okay. A keychain yeah. with the GBF logo and the orchestra logo up here. Grand Blue Fantasy Orchestra Symphony in Blue. Um, a memo pad in the shape of a vinyl uh, a vinyl record. Okay. Uh, a set of Vern metal pins. Postcards, like postcards with the um, key visuals from this. And so far, we have Lyria, Vern, and Sandalphon, and they'll be filling them out more as time goes on. Uh, and then a ball, a special ballpoint pen. That's not bad. I like yeah. that. And then usually SSC seats are actually just like really good seats in the first place. Yeah, um, there was a diagram we found from another one where SS is like basically the orchestra area for another concert, and then 
S and A, you... Uh, so, like I said, the Tokyo Garden Theater is very vertical. So, S is, like, the first balcony and the second balcony, and then A is the third balcony, essentially. The third level balcony. Okay. Yeah, no, usually for, like, these type of events, if it's some event I really want to go to, I always just go for the highest tier. Yeah. So, I will put you in for that, and then we'll figure it out later. But, uh, yeah, Pocky has such a pile of tickets right now. It's... It's so funny. Um, meanwhile, the other thing that's going on, like GBF uh, news-wise, is the Qpot Cafe collab. They're promoting that a lot right now with uh, the Six Dragons um, Gelateria. Okay. And so there's so many of those being posted. Um, they did it again, DJ. Did you see? The who? Lou who? There are Emma yeah. with messages from each of the uh, six dragons, and there's also one from Orologia that I'm excited to find and see. But Once again, uh, Fediel sucks at writing. <laughs> well, that's because Fediel, yeah, Fediel, uh, Fediel's Valentine was written by Mia. <laughs> they were just like, look, can you write this for me? And then Fediel sign is like, oh, Wilnesses is basically a person with a big crayon going, thanks. <laughs> Galleons is you as usual a uh, just a lipstick mark. Elyars is a paw print. Luo actually writes a message, and so does Wemdis. The others are are scribbles. But yeah, um, but yeah, we're we're in summer right now. It's a uh, um, let's see here. We have so an got, event coming up. Whoop, go we ahead. actually got two new two weapons from the yeah, Yain fight. Yeah, let's go take a look at those, actually. They're actually good. Yeah, so um, we were talking about this a little bit last time, where um, if you are in the market to play Mana Diver as a light player and you do not have, you know, the the big name, big ticket items, the things like, you know, the, what is it, Futsu no Mitama is the uh, superlative, no, luminous weapon? Luminous weapon. Um and then there's a bunch of grand weapons that are daggers and staves, but it's like, once you're past that, you have the Cosmo Dagger, which some people find no. hard to get. And now you have Altruism Soul Staff. Oh, even even the, outside of that, uh, mm -hmm. the CA on this is really good. Yeah. Remove a buff from a foe, man. Wish I wish I had these right. Yep. For four star on a staff, yeah, it's like you put that on a monk, you put that on a, um, you not necessarily a mana diver, you put it on a warlock, you put it on a, um, an yeah, astro you sometimes, put, you sometimes put on one mana diver because sometimes you just see a on accident. True. In full auto. True. Yeah, but if you actually want to dispel with this thing, then yeah, you would be like usually a monk or something like that. Um, but yeah, this thing's really good. Like it's. Staff is one of the most popular weapon specialties in Grand Blue Fantasy, just because any person who casts spells and uses magic, they default to staff. Yeah, it's one of the most common uh, traits. And now we have sword. Yeah, it's sword, staff, and melee, basically, in approximately that order. And we now have all three of them. And so now we could, we're we going to be working on like the lower tiers from here. Um Spears. Yeah, really good for yeah. Uh, what's that uh, tier four class again with the staff? Um, which one? There's so many. Staff dagger. Staff dagger tier four. Um, warlock. Yeah, warlock was just my go-to for this uh, for this uh, you know fight for yeah because it can hold hold a dark staff <laughs> and I mean, it had in, had, inc had increased uh, skill damage. Were you exiling? I, I was doing that for the the meat farming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also used Warlock a lot as uh, meat farming. But yeah, um, like this staff is very good. There's nothing much more to say about it. Uh, now go now go let's look at the bow real quick. So the bow, uh, it gives flurry, right? It flurry and bo like bonus light damage. <laughs> Four, four star is fl uh, flurry for the next turn and twenty percent mm -hmm. bonus light damage for two turns after your CA. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the two the uh, the bonus light damage is for the entire team. Right. So that's very good. Um, the thing that I was just thinking about was that if you're a bow main hand class, um, 
it's like Robin Hood supplies its own flurry. It doesn't supply its own you, chaser, though, does it? Uh, uh, the problem with that is that you can't see a ever. Right. You lose the ability to gain meter. But anyway, so the the light bow is pretty interesting, but um, it's fairly uncommon that we equip bows without like doing something gimmicky. All right, you can't wait for the next time they put a new will class then. Yeah, seriously. I mean, Shield Sworn changed a lot of things when it came out, and we have like defensive axes going uh, in play now. So I am not um, leaving the possibility of just a really good bow class just coming out because they've decided to, that they're tired of Kengo's just ignoring the existence of bows, you know? It's like, it's I mean, not that, like... Definitely, you can Kengo with his bow. You can. And you will have Flurry on... Uh, and, and if you're manualing, you'll have Flurry with a, tri uh, with a triple strike. It'll be sick. That is pretty cool. Um, but then again, like, Light also does really, really well with Bandit Tycoon. And Bandit Tycoon also provides itself Flurry and Chaser just because it wants... By pressing buttons. I don't know. It, I, it, I'm not uh, saying that this is useless. It's just that uh, it is hard to get people to get out of bed for a bow main hand that gives you things that other things uh, other classes can press buttons to do. Or even bow main hand classes can press buttons to do. But it's like the uh, the Bandit Tycoon team I have where it's just like three people with uh, with Flurry plus Nahan it's just hitting things. But again, Nahan lets you see a really, uh, really often. So maybe a bow main hand with yeah, maybe we'll think. There, well, the, the the door is yeah, open. He, he he also allows you gain uh, gain meter when you have one hundred percent down. Yeah. And so, it's an option. Um, as new challenges come out, and we'll have more tools to fight them, and it'll be it'll be a good one in our toolbox. How did you do on celestials for this time around, DJ? uh two drops i got one so yeah um i am able to finish the staff and i am one drop short of finishing in uh, another weapon after that so yeah i just did missed. i just have enough to finish the staff and that's it mm -hmm. my ah uh, two of my drops for bows instead well at least they uh reduce for um they reduce for the materials to just turn into another one. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, we know what's coming up in the next couple days. Uh, in four hours, the uh, event will start. Or no, it's six hours, isn't it? Uh, we will have... Last of five, starts five in six hours and hours. 40 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Um, we also know that Flash, uh, not Flash Gala, end of uh, month premium gala will have Raziel and Tefnut at the very minimum. They Those were shown off uh, in Fukuoka. Do we have Extra Fest this weekend? No, it's next week. Next, yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah we'll see what happens. Two, and two months from now, I'll say salute, uh, salute to Ishoni Grand Blue. Yeah. Two episodes to go. Yeah, I, I looked at it. and I'm like, oh yeah, she she did start. They started doing this before Mirren was even a character. Yep. Um, there have been like two or so people who've been brought on to do GBF stuff before they actually had a role in the game. Ichiki with uh, Ichiki's right here. Look at him, Icarus. There he is. And then we also had Mirren with her. Um, let's see. I mean, she was in the Sato and uh, et cetera event, so two months ago now? Or is it yeah, last but month? She was, yeah, two months she ago. She was added into the game at the end of 2017. Right. But yeah, uh, they've they been doing that. They started in Shoney Grand Blue before that. Yeah. They've been doing this for eight years. That's wild. And then, uh, oh man, we're also going to have to say goodbye to MCAS, the service that I use to watch um, the Grand Blue TV channel live. And a lot of people use it, actually. 
And so we'll have to figure out a way to, well, watch Japanese, the Tokyo area, specifically television, uh, and, you know, see some news there. Pocky has been uh, experimenting with a few things, so we'll figure it out. Anyway, mm -hmm. uh, that's it, though. That's all we got. Every All the news is going to be coming for next time when I'm going to be in Los Angeles for... Yeah. Uh, well, I'm technically not really there for AX. I'm there for things around AX and for the people. So, you know. I'll be there for the uh, the Akiba Made War pop-up cafe. That'll be fun. The oinky doink. The one that's going on right now. Well, it's the preview night there, I believe, because that's what Hogan's doing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the one that we do on like July 3rd is going to be Night Zero. But yeah, we, we're we done. We got uh, like no mechanical things to talk about, nothing crunchy. Just We had a night and fight. It came, it went. People got horny for cat girls. That's, you know, standard. Uh, uh, Arashiko, OP, still. Uh, yeah. we, ha we have sumo coming up. We're, we've got we've got mermaid mermaid and sumo and I don't know man. I can't this... wait for like the the waters of Aguse to dry up again. Again? No, 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 he he's gone. It's okay. He was able to just rocket ship his way, and now he's trying to create his own island. And for some reason, the monster island ladies are there. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's gotta be weird and wild. Hopefully. It's it's a summer in Grand Blue Fantasy. It's gonna be weird. Yeah. <laughs> Insert Meg face here. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, what do you mean? Meg's perfectly normal. <laughs> yeah, but she had to deal with everything ar happening around her well, on her vacation. This is true. GBF players horny for a raid boss must be one of one of every three out of every three events. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, well, but it's like very consistent during your nine fight nowadays. True. I mean, even the dudes have been mad, mad hot. Uh, what was the name of the guy who was for uh, who was Tsuchinoko turned into an Egyptian dude? I was just gonna call it Tsuchinoko. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair enough. All right. So anyway, that's pretty much it. We got that's all we got for this week. Next week's gonna be real busy though. They're gonna have all of the info for July. We're gonna have a lot of. Uh, summer information the campaigns come in and like and then we get more at the end of that month yeah there's going to be 1.50 playable at evo dj uh for gb versus and it's like 1.5 usually means we'll see what who the next character is right there so it'll just be maybe just playable right there who knows maybe it'll just be blacked out and it's like 1.50 but for everything but that that's how they uh, previewed Rising in the first place. So they're just like, That's true. it's it's the game, but there are two characters who are disabled. Or it's like, only Fukuhara is allowed to play Grimnir. So anyway, that's it. That's all we got. Until next time, folks. Until next time, folks. The next one's going to be the long episode. Enjoy. Stay safe out there. This is the it's... long episode. And it's, it's, what, day zero AX? It is day one of AX. It'll be oh, day the, one. Oh, fine. It'll be the fourth of July. It'll be right after our gathering. All right. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. 